the pit stop here on Men and Motors, where we're going to really test the knowledge of our biking experts. You can see the two teams in front of me. At the end of the show, which one of these teams will become victorious and which two experts are going to need to go home and maybe swat up a bit? Let me introduce you to the teams. On the red side, we've got Bertie Simmons. From <laughs> Bertie, we love him lots, but let's face it, there's a lot to love, isn't there? <laughs> and also we've got Mr Alex Hearn. <laughs> Oh, On the blue team, we've got Steve Berry. Hey. And Hello. also Chris Moss, otherwise known as Mossy. Right then, on to round one. Now, I'm going to give you a picture of a bike. Here you go, there's a bandit trike there. And uh, you've got three pictures of uh, different <laughs> Oh, desirable. <people. laughs> I want you to tell me who yeah. you think is, is owns it? and rides that yeah. bike. Who, who's, who's wearing the most three of them. leather? Who's wearing the most leather? Uh, <laughs> It's like it? some sort of Gorgon's going to run up. Was it C in the World at War? I think he was. Yeah. I think you'll find B was his, uh, B was his oppo. B is brother. Yeah. Yeah. A, it's A or B. A, it's looking for me. Actually, actually, what sort of bike do you think Bertie would be sort of... Oh, I can see Bert. Not, no, <laughs> no, not a trike. One, two, five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a I wasn't quite thinking quite anything as big as that. I, I think I'd go with B. It's A or B, but I'll go with you. It's like watching Stansky and Hutch work out some crime. Do you think I don't know? I don't know. No. No, I don't, I we B, mustn't get boastful though, because they well, give think, us a good Well, I think it's someone who's. No, I reckon it's. It, I reckon it's B. He looks. And I tell you why. And but I do think that's that's a trike because of someone who's got a disability. But he's got. And I think that picture's taken lower down. Seriously, so I reckon it's Ooh, B. Hey, like I'm taking it seriously. If he's not on. just a pretty. Face, he's a bit isn't Columbo, it? isn't he? And do you know what? He's a face. bit cannon. <laughs> <laughs> I poke my fridge all episode of Columbo. Move the face. You know what? You were right, it's B. Hey, well done. Well done. Well done. It'll go to his head. Yeah. It'll go Every to week, his head. George Hamilton so did what, it. what did you call that unfortunate person? Muppet. Somebody from World of War. Gorgon. Well, I meant, I meant it in the nicest kind. Yeah. There's your pictures, guys. You've well, got a proper Western motorbike. 750. Blimey. Modern. Oh dear, I wouldn't like to meet him on a dark night, tell you. Which one's that? He's about, a. He's about a. 14, so it can't be. His. Well, <laughs> the bike's older than he is. Rossi doesn't exactly look his age, does he? So <coughs> appearances can be deceptive. Mm, he looks a bit sort of 100% biker, 110% biker, a? doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I bet I'm he's got I'm... piercings in places that you really don't want to. What do you reckon, though? Do you Mind you, <laughs> is he a candidate? So's Chris. <laughs> is he. <laughs> Pierce brain doesn't really count, that, Chris, does it? Prince Albert <laughs> Moss. <laughs> I wonder if you could just apply yourself <laughs> to the question in hand. Excuse Prince me for being do, professional. Do you not think we look like the Mitchells? Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, if we're not rigged this, Chris, if, if we're like the Mitchells, we rigged look, it so we win. Uh, excuse me we? for being conventional, but I'd like to answer the <laughs> question. What do you think about B? <laughs> what do you think about him? He's a, he's looks like I'm he's... suggesting A. Oh, yeah. And C? And C He looks is... too nervous, man. He looks like a scooter had upset him. No, no, he's... he's... I think it's between A and C. A looks like he rides a sort of hardtail, rigid, no. something or other, with Mossy big eye handlebars. Disagrees. He's a lad. Is he? He's a knee down. Is that hair? Something. How long have Phil and Grant got on this? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to rush you then, lads. What's your answer? Not being Peggy rushed, Mitchell. man. Uh, I would say A. Do you, uh, do you agree with me, sir? I think it's Tune in C. next week where these two Muppets actually come up with an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's C, but um, I'm going to go with you. Uh, and yeah. Mossy thinks... A. 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 You were right, Mossy. Oh. It is yeah. a day. <laughs> Down on Chris Moss. Go on, the Mossy man. Do nuts for you there. Um, Mossy, while we're over at your side... Yes. I know you've got loads of stories for us. Uh-huh. What about um, <laughs> bike launches? The most memorable one. I've done a few, and uh, you have a good laugh, you know? I mean, it's a great social event as well as anything on the professional, uh, on the professional side. But I went to South Africa, Yamaha were launching the Yamaha Thunder Race and Thunder Cat. We were there for a week, but it all turned a bit pear-shaped for a few people. Uh, Matt Oxley was very lucky only to snap his femur when he slid under a four-wheel drive car that was, like, raised quite high. Had it been a normal car, he wouldn't have got underneath and uh, probably would have killed him. Uh, on the last night of the launch, we got, like, really drunk, as is the tradition, and Phil West, who was working for Bike Magazine, I think, at the time, decided it would be a great idea to go for a swim in the pool, but he didn't uh, check out the fact that the... There was no the, water in it. No, the, the end of the <laughs> pool that he dived into was, like, only about that deep, and he bounced off the bottom and ended up with a busted neck. At the end of round one, it's, like, uh, level pegging! Round of applause for both teams! <laughs> Round two, then. <laughs> what the manufacturer says. Now, I'm going to give you a quote from a manufacturer. You have to tell me what bike it is they're referring to, if you can keep a straight face. But he's actually got tears in his eyes uh, right now from the moss. Uh, <laughs> <Okay>. really? <laughs> Are you ready, then, Bertie, because yep, you're first? Yep, yep, yep. 
With its duotone painted tank and classic lines, it attracts attention wherever it goes. I reckon it's a Triumph. Yes. I reckon it's a Bonneville. Shall I give you a clue? Go on then. It's not. The best clue <laughs> <laughs> is that uh, Tracy Brothers. Tracy oh, I know. Thunderbird. Good clue. I know. Oh, well, Thunderbird, Thunderbird, yeah. Oh. Yes, well done. Jeez. Two points to you, <laughs> two nuts. Very good. OK, Steve, this is yours. The only proper way to scratch the American itch. Uh, that concierge itch. that you met. <laughs> 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 I mean it again, sorry. <laughs> the only proper way to scratch the grand American itch. The grand American itch? Yeah, sorry, itch. the grand American itch. Clue one is regal. Hell of yeah. a clue. Two, two, cigarettes. Clue two, long distance traveller. Uh, it's not getting any easier, oh, is it? Regal. Road King, Harley Road King. Yes, well Bloody done. Really, there's Sonny well, Boy. Well, hey, you. Well, well, it. Right. Oh, I'm still level now. pegging. Alex. <coughs> oh, dear. <laughs> 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 this is where it all goes Bloody, wrong. Do you want these back? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, uh... As quick and agile as the stinger that gave it its name. Hornet. Yeah. On the Hornet? Yes. Good boy. Well done. <laughs> oh, well done. Excuse me. Obviously, I knew Can that. Can I just obviously. say, you know the Triumph one yeah. uh, that you gave me? He wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> so he knew Inside it. Inside job or what? Yeah. OK, Mossy. Uh, I think I nut off for that, actually. No. No, no. We're going to leave it as it is, cos it's going You're well. You're just too fair. One of the most respected high-performance street bikes available today. Oh, that's narrowed it oh, down, hasn't it? Yeah, that's dead easy. Clue. Set this one to stun. Oh, oh Phaser. It's for the nuts. Phaser. Yes. Well done. Hey, uh, Mossy. Phaser 1000. Hey. Tommy, right? Good round. We, we all got the right. I do. We've got all four. I don't I know. know if I crashed. Uh, have I crashed a Phaser? Oh, You've crashed many. most bikes, haven't you? Bertie, uh, you have a toilet story for you, don't you? Uh, well, only one I can mention, I should think. Uh, no, just uh, I got on a, invited on a very nice tour once uh, in France, and it was sort of billed as a bit of a gourmet do. Obviously, as you can see, I like the old gourmet food. <laughs> Uh, and it was uh, like an absolutely top-notch hotel, like f whatever, how many stars it had. Uh, but sadly, the two nights I was there, I never actually spent a night in the bed, which is like this massive four-poster, because we obviously had a few drinks in the bar sort of both nights and ended up for falling asleep on the bog. Oh. So, you know, I just hoist me drawers up at 6.30 in the morning, <laughs> get back on the bike with everyone else, really. Which big is, red uh, ring. Yeah. Around your red ring. ring. Yeah. Oh. Such yeah. a lovely image. <laughs> the thing is, you sort of, your legs go dead, so you try and get up and pull your hoist your drawers up, you just fall down in this massive <laughs> collapsed heap because of blood flow to you. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much for that. At the end of round two, we're still level pegging. <laughs> oh, it's all still to play for. Come, Come on, on, red team. What colour are we, red? Aren't we? Round three, then, and we're going to bring on Pete with some bike bits. Oh, God. Uh, you need to tell me what bike bit it is and also uh, if you can what bike it's from hey. Bertie and Alex you have yours Pete's just about to bring in yours blue team uh, Bertie if you could go oh, first and tell me what you think uh, do we get clues on this you have clues um, clue one can I name mosses <laughs> no <laughs> clue one <laughs> what uh, okay clue one I think it's a tour bounce off the breeze Bounce off the breeze. And European sports tour. You're right That's with the tour. Right, Bounce it? off the breeze. Yeah, ever, that might be easier then. <sighs> sports tour. Bounce off the breeze. European Everyone at home's going. Sports tour. Mm. European. I think it's. Uh, breeze, breeze, wind. Is it a gearbox? Uh, uh, sort of yeah. No idea. Boring like that. Uh, it, it's a spring of some description, is it? Removing yeah. the it's gaffer tape is not allowed. Right. Which, no, I didn't. Which I didn't. Sports bike. <sighs> I still don't I know. Didn't. You can Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I think it's a Yam. Yeah, I think it's. Um, no, do you think it's an R1 or a YZF750 or something? What was the clue again? Can we have a bounce, off uh, the bounce off the breeze, European sports tour, and you're going to yeah, have to rush yet if you it's want to. It's a BMW. I recognise this part from a BMW, but I don't know which one. Was uh, that because will you took the gap for, and you I will saw... go for the K K1200 LT. Oh, GT, but you're going to get a nut. Hey, hey well done, mate. Nicely oh. done, nicely done. Leg, uh, wind or leg deflector. Now, uh, Steve Berry, what, what have you got there? Um, but is, it, is it a gearbox but, part? No, that I'm Steve Berry. I know you are. <laughs> you, I'm trying, you I'm just, just wish you were. You <laughs> <laughs> can you just hold it out so we can all see what you've got there? Yeah. Uh, what, what do you reckon it is? Uh, a very small piece of plastic that could be from any manner of child toy or, or <laughs> any electrical component, a mobile phone or... Would you like your two clues? Um, I think he needs about 22 yeah. clues. Fire away. Uh, will help raise and lower to let yeah. the air mm. in. It's a git to let the air in? Uh huh. Right, well, it's a spring for an airbox or something like that, isn't no. it? No. Headgear. Headgear? Is the second uh, clue. Headgear to let air so in. It's not actually off a bike. 
Oh, right. Oh, it's a visor. So hold on a sec. Here are some bike parts, but this one is... Discuss. There's an exception to every rule, and here it is. So you've worked it out. Tell me what it is. It's a ratchet for raising and lowering the visor on your crashing helmet. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's actually from an ROI, but, you know, that's very, very tricky, isn't it? So you're going to get... Alex Hearn would have got that, Cheer for the blue team. Nice one, Grant. That was me thinking it was off a motorcycle. Alex Hearn, you look poised. You're raising... Well, luckily for me... Motorcycle radiators are a bit of a hobby of mine. <laughs> <laughs> it looks that tight, doesn't he? Because they actually make they make nice uh, wall hangings. I've got like a whole wall of. He has of actually. Motorcycle Have you really? Yeah, isn't it? So, I'd say judging by this, is this a Honda? Yes. Right. Hang on. Does it now, sniff and smell like the Honda? <coughs> What's what uh, no, uh, it Alex? Smell like? Well, no, there's, there's a very different. Do the smell. test. No, hold on. Flick it. You can hear it. You can tell which one it is. This, this is about. This was made in. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight. No, ninety-nine. I think. I'd say it was a Honda Blackbird. Do you know what? You're right, yeah. No, I know me radio is. He does. <laughs> I'm becoming very suspicious. It doesn't look like it's written on the bottom. It's written on the bottom. Oh. <laughs> right. OK, one for us. Come on, the red team. You have a chat to our research. It's not our fault. It's not one for being able to read. No, no. Come on. And not for honesty. Yes. You well, just, oh. Honesty pays, Chris. I'll tell you what, to make honesty. it a bit harder, just rolling so the bikes with a the name on the fuel tank. You can't complain. You can't complain. Well, hang on. No, well, well, yeah, we can. I mean, what, what is it? I'm not sure. Right? I can tell you what it is exactly. <laughs> ah. I can tell you well, what it right, is. It's, hold on, hold on. All right, it's a sports it's bike Yamaha. frame, and we think it's a Yam. Yeah. Um, no, right. I think what model a, of Delta Box frame is it? I think it's an it, R1. I think it's from an R1. No. Uh, can I have another go? Yeah. Is can it off? A, is it off? Yeah, go on then. Smaller engine capacity than that? Um, no. Larger? I'll give you a clue. The clue here is a clap of this as you cross Thunder the line S. in oh, this battle. Thunder S. Yes. Yep. I should well done. Actually. It looks like one that I'd... Uh, stuffed stuffed it's, under it's someone's It's only one strap. piece and it's not mangled, Chris. That's why, why you yeah. don't recognise it. That's the shape it should be. Well, that's how... Not for you, Chris. That's what I've got at home, Thunder Ace. Well, can I have, can I have a ride on it? Perhaps. With you at the no. concert. Actually, no. He's going to crash it, isn't he? <laughs> Moving swiftly on. <laughs> um, I'd just like to uh, come over to you because I, I think you may have a story for us. We've heard from the other lad. I, we, I went to Daytona, which is like the sort of American version of the Alamanic, except the racing's all done on a sort of big bank track. And Mossy isn't going through a wall anywhere. <laughs> and it's, it's very butch. It's, it's, you know, it's the sort of place where you see people wearing every single item of clothing that they've got on is made out of black leather and studded and all that sort of thing. And uh, we went along to this really serious bike show, the Rats Hole Custom Show to film there, and I, we were supposed to meet a guy from this American club of people that ride long distances. I mean, they ride like 6,000 miles around the States in a week, and they call themselves the Iron Butt Club. But our researcher had kind of missed out a rather important word, and so he'd gone round this show asking these real hardcore, heavy-duty, Hells Angels-type guys if they knew the guy from the Butt Club. When he couldn't find him, he had it announced over the PA, so he had this lady going, there are some guys here from the BBC, they want to meet the guys from the Bud Club. Could the guys from the Bud Club please meet? So we got entirely the wrong sort of guest. Bertie. <laughs> yes, I mate. thought it was so funny. I'll give you a chance. <laughs> Thanks, so much. Thanks a lot, mate. And like with that, we're going to leave it at that for round one, but don't forget to come back after the break and join us in round two when our experts here are going to go head to head in our riding game. See you in just a sec. Another couple of points. Yeah, go on. I'll look a bit Welcome back to part two of Pit Stop. Our teams are just about to go head to head in our riding game, but uh, at the end of round one, Mossy offered the red team a couple of nuts. So I don't know, I'm going to give you the opportunity to take them back. It's up well, to you. Well, can I reserve the right to take them back uh, at any point yes, from now can, until actually. the end that of the show? Yes, you can actually. That could make it pretty oh, exciting. Yeah. Sort of, we're sort of playing underneath some sort of. Uh, yeah. You know, well, he offered you to them and he didn't need to, so I am going to give him the opportunity to take them back in round five. Fair enough. However, are we going to fall out with game. each other, Bertie? Are we ever in with each other? <laughs> if you'd like to put your helmets on, lads, um, you can see the controls beside you. I suggest you start with your best player first. And then, of course, every time you hear the horn, you have to swap the controls over. <laughs> There's the horn sound. And it's the first team to complete a full lap. Ready? Hang on. Are you ready? Hang on. Oh, Moss has got to do his helmet up. Right, I'll wait. Wait, get on. Are we ready? Let's go. Red team off to a flying start. Well done, Steve. Right, I'll Steve. Swap controls. Go on. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. That's it. Worry. Both on the kitty litter. Oh dear. Okay, Blues, however, have managed to get back onto the track a little bit quicker. Let's have some support for the teams. Oh, Come on. Come on, you're doing well there, man. Blues are in the lead. But they're both over on the grass. 
I'm sure <laughs> Chris actually instructs on this track, which is quite yeah. worrying. <laughs> That's right. When you can see the antics that are going on. The... Don't forget Chris is part of the blue team. See him wobble. <laughs> and now uh, they're swapping over again. Yes, we've got um, go Alex go on, go and go on, Steve right. on the controls now. Please and just right. whizzing charge right. heavy. Right. Keep on the grey stuff, Red Team. Right uh, might be the best right idea. Now, now we've got <laughs> all swapped over just before the horn, but I shall allow it, Bertie. And Alex has got his helmet in his hands. <laughs> Not so to speak. <laughs> Swap controls again. <laughs> Red to catching. Going under the Dunlop Bridge. Oh, are we going to see a wheelie as we go under the right Dunlop now, Bridge? Right now. Which one's the right one? Right, right now. You can see Bertie's giving Alex full instructions. <laughs> well done. Oh, and straight. Hang on. What's hang up on, there? Hang on, hang on. Oh, you idiot. You've turned. Right, that's, that's well not fair. Done, he turned Austin. analog oh. on. He pressed the wrong button. Look at the wind. Come on. Heading towards uh, the Melbourne Loop. You need to go around that, that hairpin there, Blue Team. Ah, oh, details, man. Come on, mate. You can have Where it. Where are you now? Uh, red Team. Right, if Heading you can get this together, Go on, just get round there. We've got this, easy, easy. Not much long, length left to go. Right, Blue team, I'm so excited. Blue team is still in the lead. Right, go on, but just they're on the grass now, but you can the... see the start finish line. Right in front of you. Swap yeah. over now, swap, swap, swap. Well, not allow you to cheat. Uh. Why are you? Who's going to come to the end yeah. first? And it is the blue team. Right, I'm oh, I'm Take your helmets off. Um, Red team, what happened there? What? It, well, he, he switched off the analog button. So I'm sitting fight. there going fast. But he's so in he's full wind in Look, you can now, see the he? replay yeah. on the screen. You can now. see the replay, mate, and you'll see it all out. Wrong. What's wrong with you now? I think we had a bit too much rebound on the rear shock. I think. Yeah, no, all it was was you're treating this about. season as a learning. Yeah, yeah, it's, right, a learning yeah. it's a learning season for this. Maybe when it comes on stream later in the season, perhaps you know. It's a new bike. Got a lot of development work. We got the secret of doing a really quick lap round Donington. Completely miss out the Melbourne loop, which I think, I think <laughs> yeah, we did, just don't right? bother. Well, we know Moss Mossy sometimes misses out the foggy S's, don't well, we? Well, yeah, there's a burger van there, though, you know. You've got to <laughs> divert to uh, take on board extra fuel. Where's the bulk at the time? Look, oh, that's anywhere you want. Um, but you watch, down the Dunlop Strait, it's, I'm sitting, it's sunny sitting there, full throttle, and it's just sitting. Just, just uh, yeah, did you notice something obviously? Is that your John Krasinski uh, impersonation? We, uh, <laughs> there was, there we was had a yeah, generally huffed about that, yeah, aren't we? Yeah. Plug, plug, plug came off. A mysterious electrical fault. <laughs> yeah, but we all, <laughs> we we down all the know, don't we? Anyone who's really good at something like this has never seen a girl naked. Being good at video what? games, it's too geekish for... We're men of action. Would you like your nuts then, blue team? Why, yeah. Why not? Round of applause then for the blue team, as you did actually win that round. Right, how are we doing then? Are we about level? So, mm -hmm. Red Team are still in the lead, but you don't have the right to it's take back two nuts, don't forget. Anyway. Round five is the quick fire round. Oh, uh, you can go. see the scales here. This is the last round you've got. Uh, Mossy's does have two nuts left to take from you if he wants to, so bear that in mind. Uh, Red's oh, in the lead at the moment. Are you ready then? Yes. You need to tell me the manufacturer. I'm going to give you the, the model of the bike. Good view of the car, do you? Yeah, we can read the card very well. Alaverdi. Pass. Aramachi, it is. Aramachi. Aramachi. Thanks for the pronunciation there. Can <laughs> we get a Atlas. nut for that? You do get a nut Atlas. for that. Atlas. Pass. Next Norton. Norton. Norton yeah. TNT. Benelli. Uh, Benelli. Yes. Bullet. Enfield. Yes. SM610. Uh, Husqvarna. Yes. Vegas. Victory. Yes. Black Bomber. Pass. Honda. Raptor. Kajiva. Yes. RSV. Millet. Aprilia. 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 Too easy. Too easy. Maxi. Too easy. Maxi, Scooter, Honda, Pass. Next Pooch. One. Monster. Ducati. Yes. Mantra. Bermota. Uh, Bermota. Yes. Fat Boy. Me. Harley. Harley <laughs> Davidson. <laughs> yes. Brave. Me. Not you. Yes. De Monte. Him. Darby. <laughs> it's got to be. Is that full Monte? Laverda. Yes, well yeah, done. Yeah. Uh, ZR7. Uh, Zach Kawasaki. Yeah, K1. BMW. BMW. Yes. Falcone. Falcone, Aprilia. Oh, it goes, yes, well oh. done. Round of applause. Too easy. Too easy. Too so easy. easy. I don't even know if I've got enough nuts for you. You've got 13 right altogether. Should we There's give, uh, four. I don't know, how many can no, we no, give we'll them? Just, we'll just give Five, them some six, nuts. Keep your nuts. Right, if we don't know it, pass. Nine, <laughs> no ten, eleven. Do you want to not put the two nuts on that he gave you, or do you want to put them on straight I'll away? I'll give him, we can probably give him eight nuts and we'll still win. Oh, Wait until the end is. before you be, uh, consider enough, being generous. True enough, true enough, Phil. Yeah, yeah. Phil and right. Grant. I mean, you being generous is breaking the habit of a lifetime, really, isn't it? <coughs> yeah. Mossy, yes. I've not put on the two nuts <laughs> paid your invoices. <laughs> I've not put on his two nuts, okay. so you've not got them to take off, so you need to do well. Are you ready? We are. Why are you? Ice. Gilera. Yes. Uh, S4. 
Ducati. Yes, yeah. Saxon Tourer. Um, MZ. Yes, yeah. Silverhawk. Honda. Matchless. Bantam. BSU. BSU. Yes, Bonneville. Triumph. Yes, Rodi. Pass. Suzuki. Planet 125. Kajiva. Yes, Cafe Sport. Uh, Royal Enfield. No. Nope. Verda. Motor Guzzi. Right. Bergmeister. Suzuki. Victoria. Yeah. Uh, Jog. Honda. Yamaha. Yamaha. Yes, yeah. oh, you did get that. Blackbirds. Honda. Honda. Van Van. Uh, Van Veen. Uh, no, uh, Suzuki. 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 Yes, Green Star. Pass. Green Star. Don't know. MZ. Tuono. Aprilia. Aprilia. Savetta. Don't know. CZ. Lambretta. Uh, oh, that's five... Savetta. Savetta were the Spanish license built manufacturers of Lambretta. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody <laughs> wake up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got actually, sure, I, I think you're fine. <laughs> 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 the owner of Lambretta is like a two with you there. I actually actually got the wrong dust cap something. <laughs> four. Uh, four. Five. You've got another five to go on there. I don't know if I've got enough nuts in it. How well did we do then? That was brilliant, I must say. I reckon they might have nabbed it from us. Four. Yeah, we're cruising it, mate. And one more. I don't know. Yo! Oh, oh, they only have five. It's the Reds that have won. Come on, the Reds. Come on, the Reds. I thought you were the right time. to steal. Time. No, because I didn't actually put the two knots on in the yeah, first place. Don't we get to tell a story? Chris, surely, come on, you can pull this out of the fire. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I think we have had enough toiletry gags for one show. Don't forget oh, to join us next week here on Pitch Stop. See you then.